This is Mike with iWearShorts.com. Uh, we're going to be talking about a little bug in Xcode. It's actually not a bug. Uh, it's, it's a little inconvenient thing in Xcode, or I guess something that's confusing if you're coming from iOS development to Cocoa. Uh, so actually, let me just prepare this in front of you. Maybe this will give you a hint of what we're doing uh, today. But basically, I'm going to... Delete that. So I've got test suite. There we go. Okay. So in our uh, files, I've just got a little project I'm working on here. Uh, I want to be able to have the user click uh, to test the internet connection, the server connection, the socket connection. And then down here, the thing we'll be working on today is this test serial connections. Basically, what I want to do is get a list of serial ports on the computer that are available to be connected to in Cocoa. So um, here I have a text field that I'll be able to output the list of serial ports in and a button to sort of start the listing process. So I'm not actually going to code this today, but I am going to show you how to hook these things up uh, the right way to, to Xcode in order to get the IB actions and the IB outlets to work. So you can see here, uh, first thing I want to do is add a new NS object. So I'll just go into my project and I'll say new file Objective-C class. I'll set that up. Uh, it's going to be an NS object and I'll just name it test serial. And uh, so I'll add that to my project. I'll hit create. And uh, my computer's running a little slow because I'm recording this, but everything should get Created. Okay, so I've, you can see here I've got my new files. I'm going to drag them up underneath so I know what I'm working with. And you can see in my test serial.h there's nothing, in my test serial.m there's nothing. Uh, quick little hint, if I wanted to add an init function I could go to these code blocks and actually type in init and uh, Xcode gives me an Objective-C init method so I could just drag that in here and um, you know build some stuff. Uh, so there's my there's my custom NS object. Not too fancy. Uh, so nothing too fancy. So now in my nib file, uh, you can see if I, if I get rid of the side panel here and I go to my uh, counterparts uh, view, when I click on this window, it's going to give me a list of options available. The counterparts will automatically, automatically select um, some files that, that it thinks are appropriate for me to be working in. Oh, and uh, that's if I go to automatic. So here you can see Xcode suggests testsuite.m for me to, to work with this NS window on. Um, that's wrong. And when I, when I drop down the list of available items in it, uh, I'm not seeing my test serial class that I just created. I'm seeing something I created earlier called test suite and the app delegate. Uh, I could do this in my app delegate. I don't want to. I want to work with my class that I created, and uh, I'm not getting that option. I could try to force the issue and go in here up to manual and, and try to, uh, let's see here. Oh boy. Top level objects, I could try uh, viewing it there. Again, not available. So what's going on here? Um, if I go to manual, let's see. Anyway, uh, so what's going on here? Well, you can see over on the left-hand side, these are sort of, if I give myself some space, these are sort of the objects available to me at the moment. I've got something called the file zoner, the first responder, the application as a whole. And then you can see down here I've got my app, app delegate, uh, my font manager, and test suite in these little blue boxes. And then I've got my main menu. That's uh, the menu that you would see if we scroll all the way up. The menu that you would see here uh, along the top when the application is open. Um, and then I've got my first window, my main window. That's this window. And if I click on these, it'll actually highlight them so I can see what I'm working with. I've got another window I created earlier and the window we're working with today. Um, now the problem here is I'm not able to select the right window here uh, because in my application, 
Uh, I can try to navigate it you know, manually here. I can select test serial.h and uh, I'll show you what happens if I try to, let's say I want to create an IB outlet. So I want to hook this up to my, uh, my interface file here, test serial.h. So I'm going to hit control and I'm going to click and drag over and you can see that the Xcode is not suggesting any place for me to put this file. In fact, if I just go ahead and release, uh, it doesn't create the IB outlet. And uh, the same with an action. If I try to drag a button over here, again, not available. And that's consistent with uh, my, my automatic selection not showing me test serial. So the reason it's not showing me that is because I haven't instantiated it. You can see these little blue boxes over here. These are instantiations of an app delegate, a font manager, and a test suite, which is an NS object. So I need to do the same thing if I want to if I want to have that class available to me. If I want to be able to drop down and, and select test serial or have uh, Xcode suggest that automatically for me, uh, I need to add that in a blue box over here. So how do I do that? I'm going to give myself a bit more space. Uh, I'm going to open up the right panel and over in our objects uh, under Coco, you'll see if I scroll to the very top, um, I have all these buttons and all these things. If I scroll down about halfway, maybe a little bit more, you can see I start getting into the objects. Now I'm not going to talk a lot about these today. Uh, needless to say, you have a view controller, you have just your standard NS object, uh, which is the base class of everything in Objective-C, and then you have uh, these, these bindable uh, objects down below. So we won't get into bindings today. Today we'll keep it simple and we'll just talk NS objects. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this object on. I could drag it onto this uh, window here, or I could, you know, simply drag it onto my menu bar. When I drop it in there, what that does is make this object right now. It's just an NS object, standard object, available to the interface on this screen. So uh, if I go over to my custom class, um, you'll see that it's just instantiating an NS object, not to useful here, but what if I select from the drop-down and start typing test? You can see the first one that it selects is test serial. It's, Xcode is suggesting that I just created a class of NS object called test serial and uh, I want to select that and assign this object that I just dragged onto the screen to test serial. So now when I hover over that, this actually changed from object to test serial. That's because uh, now it's instantiating this class of test serial. And if you were actually to log out some of this stuff, you would see that the init function is even called. Uh, so it, it really is instantiating this object when you call this view or when you activate this view. And since we're on the main window, uh, this, this object would be instantiated. So now, if I give myself some room again, uh, if I open up my, my assistant editor here, uh, it's going to try to select the right file. And that's basically because I have test serial available to me. And uh, if I go to my automatic uh, screen selector, uh, it, it's going to give me that option now. You can see that I've got test serial available. So now when I try to uh, drag up an IB outlet, you can see we get the normal expected behavior uh, it asks me want to, what I want to create. I can say this is a, uh, let's, let's call this serial output text field. And uh, if I hit enter, you can see it actually creates that. It'll even go ahead if I create an action here. Um, Xcode will even say, if I select action, uh, button click, let's say. Uh, now if I if I try to browse into my class, uh, you can see here's my interface file, here's my implementation. Xcode has gone ahead and even uh, set up some boilerplate code, code for um, the implementation file. So everything works as expected now. I'm able to uh, click and drag as normal from the interface builder onto my code files um, and my code files are available in the right places um, and that's it so make sure 
uh, if, if you're ever not able to click and drag onto your current files or, or the automatic, uh, you know, assistant editor is not selecting the right files or doesn't have the right files available, make sure that you have these objects available in your screen view and uh, on your interface building. That's it. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.